All righty. Hey, everyone. How you doing? Just turn my volume down. I do that all the time. Great. All right. Well, welcome to another episode of Art Class with Herm. If it is your first time here, hello. My name is Herm. You can tell I look like this guy here. Sort of. Maybe I'm a little happier in real life. Either way, but welcome. As I said, my name is Herm. I am a Brooklyn-based uh, illustrator and graphic journalist. Uh, I'm coming to you live from my very beautiful apartment in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, trying to uh, enjoy our beautiful day and glad to be with all of you guys here today so we can learn a couple of things we're going to be drawing today. So if it is your first time here, like I said, welcome. This is our fourth drawing class, so feel free to go back and you can watch some of the other classes that we did. We So far we did Mr. and Mrs. Met on our first episode. We drew the home run apple and some ballpark foods in the second episode. And then in the third episode, we drew Bobby Valentine being ejected from the game, which was really fun. That was a great game. So feel free to scroll on back. So you can watch these on all of the Seven Line platforms. Uh, you can watch them on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. And uh, we really like to recommend, please jump on to YouTube on the Seven Lines YouTube channel. Uh, that's what's really cool about that is you don't need to have an account for that. You, everybody knows YouTube, right? <laughs> you can watch that right on your smart, smart TV. You can pop it on Apple TV, Roku, any of those sort of things. And you can watch our classes in all of your glorious 4k, big HD glory. Sorry, my dog is barking. So if you hear some little chihuahua running around anyway, enough about me, I want to talk about you. So last uh, on Wednesday, when we had our drawing with Bobby Valentine, I just wanted to say how awesome it was to see everyone's drawings. And thanks for everyone for showing up, uh, either live or coming in a little after. We saw so many drawings, which was really cool. Uh, what was really cool about it for me is I knew this was a bit more of an advanced kind of drawing. So that did not deter anyone. I thought everybody did a fantastic job. We learned a little bit about feathering with the mustache hair and hairs and, and drawing the face and stuff. So we picked a couple uh, people that we really loved their drawings of, and we're going to give them a $10 gift card to the seven line. Uh, those people are Alex, Corey, and Jason. So thanks for, sh thanks for showing up. Thanks for having a great time. And thanks for your wonderful drawings. So those gift cards are for you and feel free to spend them as you please. Get something really cool. Get something that you're like, man, I wanted that, but I wish I had a gift card. Guess what? Today is your day. Awesome. All right. So before we get into our drawing for today, let's talk a little bit about the supplies we're going to need. So just like it is with all of our other drawing episodes and such, uh, we're, we're pretty loose here. So what we're going to need is some paper. Obviously, nothing too crazy. I'm just going to be using standard 8.5 by 11 printer paper. I took this right out of my printer. Uh, little little back end story. I ran out of my fancy paper and all the art stores are closed. So I'll be using computer paper for the time being. So if you see anything floating around, it's probably drawn on that. Anyway, uh, whatever you want to draw with, pens, pencils, crayons, markers, pastels, anything like that. The world is your oyster and I will not stop you here today. You can draw with whatever you want it to. All right. So let's talk about what we're going to be drawing today. So today we're going to be drawing uh, the Andy Chavez catch. So it might be a little hard to see it in my camera right here, but I'm going to be able to, I'm going to be moving it up and down during our class so everyone can follow along. So he's kind of cute there, right? A little catch in that ball. He's jumping up there. So, so any of you youngins that don't know about this, Let's take a trip back in our Herm time machine and let's go back to game seven of the 2006 NLCS. Uh, we were at Shea Stadium. It was the Mets versus the Cardinals. Top of the sixth inning, you know, uh, Scott Rowland hit a deep fly ball out, out, out. And our boy, Eddie Chavez, it robbed the catch. I mean, what can only be described as one of the most amazing Mets catches in modern Mets history, if not one of the greatest catches ever. Uh, shared only second that I can think of off the top of my head with Ron Sabota in the 69 World Series. Uh, but I wasn't alive for that. So this one, this one I'm going to hold on to for my memory. Uh, that game was awesome. So uh, I don't know if, if anybody here watched that game. Throw it in the comments where you watched it, how you felt about it. I can remember I was at, 
I was in that bar called Stout on 34th Street in Midtown, and I was watching it. I mean, there were tons of TVs everywhere. And I remember the place went insane. So I thought that was a really cool memory. So I'll always hold that deep in my freckly heart. And I hope that you guys love that too. All right, cool. So you can also, oh, I forgot to mention too, which is really cool. So if you ever go to City Field, uh, when baseball starts up again, if you look on the left field gate, there's a silhouette of Edney making this catch, which I always thought was a really cool tribute to him. Uh, not to be outdone on the right field gate on the opposite side, there's a silhouette of Ron Swoboda making that catch that I mentioned too. So I recommend after you've done drawing and you know, you're, you're woken up, you had your coffee and all that, and so your lunch and such, uh, pop on YouTube and you know, watch some of those games from the 69 World Series. They're really, really cool. And it gives you a little bit, it's just nice, you know, that feeling, the, the warm colors and all that. Anyway, all right, enough talking. Let's get drawn. Cool. So I'm going to pop this over here to the side so I can just kind of reference it. See you later. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to have my piece of paper right here. And let's get started with our drawing right now. <clears throat> so here we go. I'm going to be starting off with my with my brush pen right here. This is my favorite thing I like to draw with. I actually lost it and then I found it. So it's great days ahead. Great. Anyway, so let's get started. Oh. Before we do, what I just want to let you know first is we're going to do the drawing. So we're going to line everything out in our pen, pencil, crayon, however you want. And then at the end, I thought it'd be kind of fun. What we'll do is we'll take some time and we'll color it together. And then during that time, we can have some quick comments and learn where you guys are from and maybe how your day's going and all that stuff. Sound good? All right, everybody, let's do it. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw his hat, like the brim of his hat. So. If you have seen some of the other episodes, you're going to see that I draw my hats very similar. So if you can draw Mr. Met's hat or Bobby Valentine's hat and so on, then this is going to be no different. So we're going to do first, we're going to draw this like brim of that hat on there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up kind of like, so here's the middle of my paper. I'm going to start up a little bit. So kind of like if I was to split my paper in half, I'm going to start in the middle of that top half right there. The reason that I'm bringing this up is because we're going to make the illusion that Endy is jumping and catching. So it's going to be nice to have our whole paper up here. Okay, cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw like this squiggly line right here. So I'm just going to take my pen down. I'm going to come down and I'm going to make this line just like this. Kind of like, you know, maybe a little flat S. So as you can see, that's the same kind of line that we use when we drew Mr. Met's hat on there. Cool. So that's going to be our first part. Feel good? You guys are artists right now. You are drawing. Great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to curve this around and make the inside of that brim. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come down just a little bit, probably right about this area here. And I'm going to drop my pen down and I'm going to come up and make this little curve right there. Great. So now I almost have this like U, an upside down U that kind of tilled out to the end right there. So now that we have that shape, I'm going to connect this part up here. Because what we're going to do is I'm going to draw the top part of his brim of his hat. So to do that, pretty straightforward. I'm going to connect this area to this area. I'm just going to drop my pen down. I'm going to come across like that. There we go. So now it looks a little weird but we got a little bit of our line right there. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw Andy's face. And it's gonna look a little weird for a couple of moves here, but trust me, I'll walk you through it and it's gonna look like something in a few minutes. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna start with his chin and we're gonna come around and I'm gonna connect that to the top of his hat. So here's the, the end of the brim of our hat that we just made. I'm gonna come down a little bit, maybe like half an inch or so. And I'm gonna draw it first. And then what I want you to do is just look at it. And then you can see where I ended up. So that way it doesn't look a little crazy while I'm drawing. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna draw this like big circle. Then I'm gonna come up. And I'm gonna connect it like that. So it's, I almost made like kind of like an, an oval in a way. I, it's just like, basically the main thing you wanna do is I'm like kind of coming in, starting here coming down, around, and bringing it right back up. So right now, this is our chin, and this is gonna be the top of our hat. 
Now what we're going to do is let's add his forehead in there. Pretty straightforward. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come like right here. So here's the end of that, that first line, or the beginning of that first line we made. I'm just going to come over just a little bit. And I'm just going to make another curved line coming up. Just something like that. So it almost looks like a peanut in a way right there. So now we have our, our forehead, our chin, and our hat. So let's make a line here just to really show off that hat. So at this shape right here, where we made the brim of the hat. I'm going to come across just like that. So now you can see a little bit more. It's starting to come together, right? Not too bad. So now that we have our hat there, I know we always talk about that little point, that little, little button at the top of your hat. We're going to add that. And I'm just going to make this little little pop up there. I made mine a little bigger because we're making cartoons. It's kind of cute, right? All right. So just like we've done in our other videos where we talk about Mr. Mets and hats and stuff, I'm going to add a line in here just to give the illusion that the hat has a bit more shape. And how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to take a line. I'm going to throw it right in there. So basically, I just kind of put it in the middle. And then I just brought it up a little bit. So you can see here, this is the illusion of the front of the hat. And this is the back of the hat. So you can kind of see where we are. Great. All right, so we're, we're doing pretty good. We have a nice layout of the face. So now what we're going to do is let's add those facial features. So one of the reasons that I made the head like this, <clears throat> as you can see in our drawing, we're going to make it look like Andy is like jumping up and reaching. So his head is like kind of tilted into his shoulder a little bit. So I bring that up because our face is going to look a little, a little sideways in a way, honestly. And here's how we're going to do that. So let's draw our nose. So the best way I can describe it, see this line here that we started with before? I'm going to draw a circle right there. Just a circle, nothing too crazy. That's going to be the front of the nose. Just that little, that little round part in the front of your nose. So now let's add his nostril. So in order to do that, I'm going to come on the right part of my nose, down a little bit. I'm going to come in. I'm going to make this little rainbow shape. And then I'm going to come up like this. So you can see now we have that little circle with that little nostril right there. Excellent. So let's draw a little smiley face on there because Andy has a lot to be happy about. He just kept the Mets in the game. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to make a little smiley face right here. Pretty awesome, right? Now, if you want, I how I, if you've seen my Mr. Met drawings and stuff, I always add this like little bump at the end of the lips right there, just to give you a, a little more detail on that. And all I did right there, as you can see on the left, I just added just a little bit of a bump and a, and a line kind of going up. That looks like his lip is kind of like resting, like pushing down on his lip, like, mm, that was great. Great, so now that I got our mouth right there, I'm gonna add another little curved line at the bottom there. Just a little something to give the illusion of like a bottom lip right there. Excellent. All right. So now that we got our nose and our mouth and our bottom lip on there, let's go ahead and let's add some eyes. So if you've ever seen, and Andy has, uh, he has some bigger eyebrows, some bushy eyebrows. So I'm just gonna make kind of up here. I'm just gonna kind of just drop down, push a little bit more pressure on my pen or your marker or whatever. And just add a couple little eyebrows in there. Great. And then my favorite, face to draw is like those like kind of little happy closed eyes and I'm just gonna add little two little rainbows right there little rainbow shapes look how happy he looks <laughs> I love those eyes when all else fails and you're like man I don't know how to draw an eyeball or something you can always add those eyes there and it gives off a nice effect all right so now that we got that let's give his ear so his ear, basically what we're going to do is it's kind of going to be the shape of like a C, but re reflected. So the other way. So the ear is going to come like right about here on this side, right? So all I'm going to do is going to draw like the letter C, but backwards. Great, just like that. And then I'm sure you guys have noticed in your ears, you could probably see in mine, there's like that like, there's like the flip and there's, there's folds and all your stuff in here. So let's draw those in there too. So I'm gonna do it really simple. Just draw a curve coming up and then I'll throw another one in there too. So it's almost like I wrote the letter T in there. I don't know if you can see it right there. So 
it's not completely photorealistic. It's not photorealistic at all. But it gives the illusion that we know what we're talking about with our anatomy of our ears and stuff. Great. All right. So take a second. You just drew a face. That's pretty fun, right? All right. So now that we did that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in his jersey. And then we're going to do like the top part of his body to his arms. And then we're going to finish up with our legs and stuff. So let's talk about that top part of his body now. So again, this side is going to be a little heavier. Like this part is going to be reaching up while this part is going to be kind of reaching down in a way. So in order to get the illusion of that shoulder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up. So if you can see in your drawing here, if you're following along what I am, see this little like dent in the middle of that face? I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to come up a little bit and come in the middle, like the middle of where the hat, brim of the hat is in that little dent. And I'm just going to bring this line down. Just like that. Nothing too crazy. And again, we're going to do this step by step so everybody can follow along at home. Great. So we made that line right down there. Now, I'm going to leave a little bit of space. I'm not going to fully connect this line. I'm going to come down a little bit, like right about there. And I'm going to come down. And then I'm going to twist in like this. Just like that. So the main thing to realize is I just left a little space there and I come down and twist it around. Great. So now let's jump ahead to the other side. So I'm going to come on the right side of my drawing now. So just the complete opposite of this space, right? So if I was to just take my pen and like kind of hover over it, I'm going to come right about here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to like twist in, make this little kind of a bended shape. And now I'm going to connect this shape. So I'm just going to start on my last line at the bottom there. And kind of come in like that. This is what we're looking like right now. So don't worry if you messed up like I did right here. We're going to fix that in when we add our belt. So no worries. All right. So I'm going to bring my drawing down just a little bit so you guys can see it. My drawing table is a little too big. Let me fold that. All right, so don't fold your paper. I'm just folding it so you guys can see. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add his sleeve. So his sleeve is gonna be coming up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up from, I'm gonna come from the brim of my hat. I'm gonna come up. And come down just like this. A little bit there. So basically that's his sleeve up in the air right now. So we're going to about to catch the baseball. So in order to draw his arm, so this is the top of our sleeve. I'm going to start on the left and I'm just going to add this bendy line that comes up. Just like that. And then on the other side, I'm going to draw another line. And this one's going to be a bit more straighter, but it's just going to come up and kind of meet it in a diagonal way. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm just going to come up at the top of our sleeve and I'm going to bring it just like that. So now we have our arm that's kind of reaching up. Great. All right. So let's go ahead and let's draw a baseball glove on here. There are a number of different ways to draw a baseball glove. I'm going to show you how I draw a baseball glove. So if you'd like to learn along, you came to the right place. Great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of draw like a cheese doodle shape. So I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to make this cheese doodle shape right there so for those of you that don't know what a cheese doodle is it's a very delicious snack that is terrible to eat while you're drawing because you will get orange cheese <laughs> all over your drawings i have many a story about that all right enough about my cheese doodle eaten let's go ahead back to our glove so now this is going to be that part of the glove like the padded part let's go ahead and let's add the rest so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna put this like rectangle shape just at the top right here. Just that little rectangle shape at the top. Now this is gonna act as like the wedding, like the netting in our glove that's gonna hide it all together. So before I move on here, I almost forgot, we're gonna add a circle for a baseball. So I'm gonna put a circle right here in the middle. So that's where our baseball is. That's where Andy has caught it and saved the day. All right, so now that we have our baseball there, our circle, what 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make like these four little mountain shapes that I'm going to come across. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to come up from here. I'm going to go one loop, two, three, four, and then I'm going to connect it to the bottom of the glove. So again, nothing too crazy. Just going to make those kind of loops in there. So it looks like he's catching that ball. Excellent. So to add a little bit of detail, I'm going to draw another little, uh, like a shape on the left part of the glove. So all I'm going to do is draw another little baby choose doodle shape just on the inside of that shape there. Just like that. And that is just for me because I like a little bit of detail. Great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more webbing to this area here of the glove. So I'm just going to add two more little triangle shapes. Just like that. Great. So you got a nice little uh, baseball glove there. So not to be outdone, let's draw a little, let's draw the stitching in our baseball. So again, if you drew Mr. Matt with me, you know how we did this. So I'm going to start on the side. I'm going to come down with this little wavy line whoop, down and come right back on up there. So we have this little like stitching in our, our baseball there. And then for this, the stitching, I make these little triangles. So a little, little round triangles. Mine are going to go down. And then they're going to come back up on the other side. So nothing too crazy. You can see mine's, I've used a lot of ink on there, but just a nice little detail on there. Great. All right. So now let's go over here and let's, let's talk about that other arm. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a couple of other little detailed lines. So I'm going to come up here on this side of his face right here, kind of like right above the ear, but just below the baseball hat. And I'm going to add this little curved line. Just like that right there. All right. So now that we did that, that's kind of a, a little bit of a shoulder, a little fold in the fabric. Now what we'll do is I'm just going to come up a little bit and I'm going to make his sleeve. By doing that, I'm just going to make this little wavy line going down, coming up and ending right here. So I'm going to bring this line up just a little bit. Great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the inside of the sleeve. And to do that, I'm just going to make this little curve right there. So that's that's like where you, if you guys have a shirt on, obviously, hopefully you have a shirt on, <laughs> you can take your sleeve and you can see where that is. And that's like the bottom part of the sleeve where arm's going to come out. And then on the other side here, I'm going to start from the body and I'm going to come down, make another curved line. I'm going to stop like right there. Now, this is just a fun drawing trick. If you come down here and you don't connect it and you kind of leave a little space and draw that there, when I draw the arm, it's going to give the illusion that the arm is like coming out of the sleeve. So it's just a fun little party trick, you know, impress your friends later on. All right. So let's draw this arm right here. So his arm's kind of hanging out and it's, he's kind of waving to us a little bit. So, what we're gonna, so if you guys look at your arm, like from your shoulder to your elbow to your wrist. So from your shoulder to your elbow, that's like your muscle. That's where you're like, you know, you're flexing at the beach. So we're going to draw that flexing at the beach part right now. And in order to do that, I'm just going to like on the right side of my, the top of the sleeve, I'm just going to add this little bump. Nothing too crazy, just a little something to show that we're there. All right, so now we're gonna move from like our elbow here. So again, if you look at your arm, what's really cool is like towards your elbow, your forearm is a bit bigger. It's like, a, it's a bit thicker and then it gets thinner towards your wrist. So we're gonna draw it just like that. And how we do that, I'm gonna come in. So here's our muscle shape. I'm gonna start over to the left a little bit. I'm gonna come up. That's the big part of our elbow, our forearm. And then I'm gonna come down like that. So you see, it's kind of like we're going up and then coming down. And again, that's just like your forearm, you know, bigger towards your, your elbow and, and thinner towards your wrist. So let's come again on the other side of the arm now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the, the other side of our sleeve. And I'm going to come down and I make this little curved line right there. Kind of like for our, our little bit of our elbow. And now we have that, I'm going to make that same kind of shape again for our forearms. So remember, it's like bigger towards the towards the elbow and thinner towards the wrist. Excellent. Great. All right, so let's talk about the hand now. So 
before I, I'm not going to draw like a full circle here. I'm going to draw like a baby half circle here. And again, the reason I do that is because if you look at your hand here, this is the part, the muscle in your thumb. So it just gives a little bit of definition, little detail. And so you see, if you feel your hand right there, you feel that muscle. That's what we're drawing right now. So that's that little bit of that, that thumb part. So I'm going to draw a little sausage here for our thumb. All right. So now that I got our muscle of our thumb and our thumb up here, I'm going to come up and I'm going to draw almost like another bit of a, a, a almost a full circle. We're kind of stopped, maybe like 75% of the way. Just like that. I'm kind of stopping at the wrist. Great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add four little sausages here. There's a finger. There's a finger. There's one. And there's our pinky right there. Great. So that's another really fun drawing technique if you guys wanted to draw a hand somewhere. Some people like to just draw a circle right there and then add the fingers on there. I personally like to do it this way. Again, just because I think it, it makes it a more interesting drawing with that kind of shape right there, that muscle on there. All right. Cool. You guys are doing great so far. So let's go ahead. I'm going to unfold my drawing here. Let's go ahead and we're going to add a belt now. Let's work our way down on ND. So, so if I was to take my, my pen and hover at the nose, I'm going to draw a belt buckle right here. And to do that, I'm just going to draw a square. Nothing too crazy, just a little square there. And then I'm going to draw another square on the inside of that square. Inception. <laughs> to make it look like a belt buckle. Great. So obviously our belt holds down our pants and that's what we're going to do here. So starting on the left, I'm going to come down and I'm going to connect it to our belt buckle, just like that. And then once you have that, let's do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start on the other side of my belt buckle, come up and then come up right there. This is great too. Remember that mistake I made with that line that came up? Can't even tell now, right? Yeah. <laughs> so if you did the same thing, feel free to pop it. All right, now that we got our belt there, we need to add those little parts of the pants that hold the belt up. So I'm just gonna draw these like other little squares. I'm gonna put one over here on the left. And I'm gonna put two over here. The reason that I'm putting two over here is just because that's the way the body is kind of shaped out for us. So there's one here and then two over here to kind of round up. All right, when you're, when you're in the end of our drawing, the halfway point right there, let's go ahead and let's talk about his feet. So. The first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw his right leg. Or excuse me, I guess his left leg, but the right leg on my draw, the right part of the drawing right here. So to do that, again, so here's my belt buckle. I'm going to hover my pen down just a little bit, make a little mark right there just so you guys know where I'm going to start. And I'm going to just draw a line that comes down. And then I'm going to curve it in just like this. So this is like the inside of the pants coming in to like the fold of the knee, right? So now, now that I have this bend in the knee, I'm going to come back a little bit, probably about this part right here of my drawing. So you can see here, I'm sorry if my hand's in the way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down a little bend. And I'm going to curve just like this, kind of like a fish hook shape right there. So again, so here's my knee. I came in a little bit down and around and back up. All right, so now I'm gonna connect this to the top. So I'm gonna come over here on this part of the belt, the, the end of the pants. Let's come down and I'm just gonna connect it all the way right there. I'm gonna come down just like that. So it's almost like an Air Jordan kind of leg right there in a way. <laughs> so we have that there. And then just for detail, you know, I love it. I'm just gonna throw a little little smiley face right there just to give the illusion of the folds in the pants. All right, great. So let's draw a shoe now. So this shoe is gonna be a little different than the ones that we've drawn in the past. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of draw like a, almost like a water droplet. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna start on the left here and I'm gonna like draw in I'm going to come down with this kind of shape right here. So you can see what I mean? Like it comes down like a water drop, like coming from your sink, you know, down and then coming back up. Great. So now in the front, I'm just going to draw another little shape in the front. 
just like that to follow the front of the shape there. The reason I do that is that this is like the sole of the shoe popping through. Just another little detail to make our drawing a little more interesting. Then I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna add this other little rainbow shape right there. Now the reason for this rainbow shape, again, spoiler alert, it's the detail there. So it's kind of like the front of the shoe, it gives a little more definition. So I'm gonna draw some more little cheese doodles in here. We'll get some cheese doodles later. It's been quite a while. So I drew these little, I drew four little cheese doodles in there. Feel free to draw as many as you want. But these are uh, shoelaces. Add those right in there. All right. So almost done. So now what we're gonna do is let's come over here and let's do the other leg. So to do that, I'm gonna start on this side. And let me draw it first so you guys can see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna come down, bend a little bit. And I'm gonna bend in like right around here, kind of in the same area where this knee is. Big step nine. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna draw like the inside of that thigh here. So here's our belt buckle. I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna draw another little line. Just like this. Just to kind of connect that part. All right. So now I'm gonna connect the bottom part of the pants. It's gonna be kind of similar to what we did with this shoe right here. So again, I'm just gonna start on the left here. And I'm gonna draw down. I'm gonna come up. And come like that. So you can see it's very similar to what we did here. Maybe just a little bit wider on that end. Great. And then again, I love a little detail. So I'm gonna do a little little smiley face right there. Just a little something to give the, the illusion of our pants. All right, great. Let's draw that shoe. So if you guys join me for my Mr. Met drawing here, it's kind of the same technique that we made where it was like that like squished in kind of heart. We're gonna make the shoes a little bit smaller so they don't look like, you know, such like big clown shoes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna draw up, come around, I'm going to tuck it in like that. So it's almost like I took a, like a lowercase letter E and turned it sideways. Now I'm going to come on the bottom and I'm going to follow that shape again to give a little definition to the bottom of our shoe. Not bad, right? All right. So let's add a few more cheese doodles here for our shoelaces. All right. So you can see we're almost there. We got a pretty good Andy Chavez drawing right there. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna draw Mets on it. Now there's a number of different ways you can do it. This is the font that I'm gonna use. It's kind of hard to see with the crayon. It's kind of like a script bubble letter on here, but you can write anything you want. You can write ham, ham, herm, <laughs> any of that sort of stuff. So the main thing you wanna do though, is I would recommend making it maybe a little diagonal, like starting up here and then kind of coming around just to give the illusion that our body's flipping with it. So let me show you what I mean. It's gonna come down and around. So I'm just gonna write Mets in like a bubble kind of font in there. Feel free to write this bubble letters or you can just write Mets however you want. There's no wrong way to do this. So I'm just writing in there. Now I got my S. There we go. And then just for fun, what I like to do is I just had to, I had to add like on the outside there, just a little bit like of a heavenly glow. Now I'm not like, I'm just kind of facing it or like tracing it around just a little bit. Nothing too exact, nothing too specific. The reason I add this little glow here is it's gonna be fun when I color I can add two colors here. So like for, I'm gonna draw this, color this in blue and maybe the outside orange. All right. And then I know it looks a lot like Andy Chavez, but just in case people didn't know, let's add his number here. So he's number 10. So I'm just gonna draw like the number one and then zero here. I'm just gonna pop that right there. There we go. We got our, our number 10. And just like we did before, I'm gonna add this little heavenly glow. 
little bit of a pop right there, a little singing, a little dancing. There we go. So again, this is going to look really fun when we get to color it in. All right, cool. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to like take my belt buckle and I'm going to come up to here and add these two little lines here. Now, the reason I add these lines, this just gives the illusion of like our, our, our jersey is buttoned up because it's right there in the middle. All right. So before we can say we're done with this drawing here, we got to add the wall, right? So it looks like he's jumping up. So this is like kind of like what I did with it. Like there's a part there and then a the part at the bottom. So I'm just going to draw a line. So like remember that his arm, oops, sorry. Remember that his arm is coming up over the wall. So I'm just going to like just draw a line right there. Just like that. So you can see it's over the wall. And then I'm going to come down to the bottom here. I drew my shoes a little too low, but I'm just going to draw another line kind of coming down. So I'm putting my line underneath his feet there. So it looks like he's jumping up in the air. All right. And then I'm going to add these little kind of curved lines at the top there, just like this. What's fun about these lines, it looks like the ball's flying pew, right into the glove. And then I'm going to come around the bottom. Hopefully yours, yours is a little, maybe a little shorter than mine, but I'm going to add these little lines up here on the sides. So it looks like he's jumping. This is another really fun drawing technique. You can add these lines there if you want to have like a baseball spinning through the air, somebody jumping, things. It just adds like a little fun thing. And then what you can do too is like the wall at Chase Stadium or City Field or all baseball stadiums, it's like, it's a padded wall. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a line and I'm going to come up. I'm going to put like, basically imagine I'm drawing like a really thin triangle. Nope. Rectangle. Just like that, like that. Just on the side there. So you can see like it's like a padded wall. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. Pick a spot that you like. And come down right here. And I'm just going to draw these lines down. All right. Drawn just like that. Great. So now, pretty amazing, guys. So you have just drawn an Andy Chavez catch. Not too bad, right? So if you guys wouldn't mind joining me, I'm going to put my pen down for a while and I'm going to start to color. So I'm not going to color like perfectly. Please join along with me. So I'm just not the crazy guy drawing on the internet, but I'm going to use just a blue crayon because that is like the wall of Shea Stadium was blue back then, which is cool. And I'm just going to color this in. Nothing too crazy, just popping it in there. But while we're, while we're coloring here, I have all your comments here on Facebook and I'll, I'll get to them. I'll, I'll try to read through as many as I can. But yeah, just let me know how you're doing. How you feel in the past couple of days? How you feel about this drawing? Let me know where you're drawing from. Man, in the past we've had, I've had people reach out from, that were drawing in Australia. That was pretty awesome. Uh, people drawing in Japan, pretty amazing. Uh, all different states, Los Angeles, Connecticut, all over the Tri-State area. And of course, our hometown here in New York. Yeah, so just feel free to write in there. Let's get a little community going. Let me know how you guys are doing, how you feeling, how your drawings coming along. I'm just going to keep coloring it on in there. I think I saw earlier that someone had actually been to this game. I'm super jealous. That must have been amazing. Amazing for a little bit and then super sad towards the end. <laughs> that poor Beltron. Got us in there looking. And I'm just coloring this in here too. So for those of you watching, like watching at home or like a later, um, maybe later on in like a replay on YouTube or something, you don't have to color this in blue. I'm just doing blue. I'm a realist. I like to get a little real with this and each of his catch, as you can tell by my drawing here. And I'm just gonna draw blue. I miss that blue outfield wall. Of Shea Stadium. So again, I'm just coloring it in there. Oh, uh, we got someone from Bethlehem. Hey, Rick, how you doing, man? 
Thanks for watching. Also, guys, too, let me know what you want to learn. These art classes are for you, you know? Take our mind off of off of sitting at home all day, no school, no baseball, our favorite food is close, all that stuff. Let's forget about that and let's just enjoy each other's company. But let me know what you want to learn. You know, maybe, maybe there's another particular big Mets moment or baseball moment that you wanted to draw and we can kind of put that together. Maybe there's an aspect of the ballpark that you want to see. I think in the future it'd be kind of fun. Maybe we could draw like the bullpen cart. That's one of my favorite things about major league stadiums. I also really love the scoreboard. So maybe if you guys are down for that, we could draw the city field scoreboard. I think at this point I've drawn close to 250 Mets games, uh, 250 baseball games, I should say. So I can draw city field scoreboards probably just from my memory at this point. Oh, Pete Alonzo, that'd be kind of fun. Did you guys see that uh, post that he put on Instagram today? I thought that was pretty cool. That guy is awesome, man. All right, so I got my, no, I got my, um, my wall right there. I'm going to draw a little grass on the bottom there. Just so you guys know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty colorblind, so I have to lay out my crayons in a certain way <laughs> so I know what I'm getting. I almost colored the grass brown. Anyway, so inside information on your old pal Herm there. Great. So now I'm just gonna grab a different type of blue. I'm choosing my crayons here and I'm gonna draw in our pinstripes of our jersey here. So you can draw in whatever kind of jersey you want. I like the pinstripes and to do that, basically what I do is I find a point and I just kind of follow along with it. So I'm gonna draw one right there. The main thing is you want to follow along with the with the flow of the body that we made. So this is like our leg, right? So you can see it's kind of flowing out this way. So I'm just drawing it like that. I love drawing the pinstripes. It's so fun. No way. Caitlin, you drawn from Milan? That's awesome. I hope you and your family are doing all right. But thanks for joining us. That's really awesome. Nice to know we have Mets fans all over the world, right? So again, I'm just drawing these in there. Oh, Gail, Keith Hernandez. Man, I could sit here all day. We could just draw that mustache. That'd be kind of, Keith's one of my favorite players. He came down to my neighborhood down in Bay Ridge. I think it was like maybe two summers ago and he was doing a book signing. It was pretty cool. So again, with the pinstripes, I'm just kind of following along with the folds of my jersey here, the shape of my body. And then I'm coming around here on the sleeve, just kind of following along with the sleeve again. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna draw on his hat now. And I'm just using these different shades. I have this like, I got a, a pack of crayons from the dollar store, so nothing too crazy. Now, one of the things I like about crayons is I like to think that they're supposed to be a little um, little loose. So feel free to not draw perfect. You can draw on the lines. You can get a little crazy with it. That's totally cool. Draw a little orange right there for the top of my hat. And then I'm going to draw that. Like, remember that little heavenly glow that we drew before? I'm just going to make a little orange in there. Just kind of popping that in there. Eh, nothing too crazy. Just giving a little, little oomphs as I may. Just a little pop on there. Great. I'm gonna take that nice the same blue, I'm coloring that jersey right there. Oh man, I cannot wait to see what you guys have ready for these drawings here. So we're almost done with our drawing class today, but. What I would say is let's not forget to post your drawings online because I very much want to see them. And you can do that by just posting them on any of the social medias. Uh, and you can tag, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So at the end, you're going to see our, um, our hashtags and stuff that we use. But yeah, you know, just make sure that you tag myself and the seven line. And like we've done with every episode, we're going to pick three. We're going to pick three of our favorites. I don't want to say favorites, three that we just liked, because everybody's is, are all really good. Three that we like, 
and I'm just gonna we're just gonna pop them, give them a ten dollar gift certificate. Draw my shoelaces right here. Almost done there. What we got here? Jen, what's going on from Illinois, man? That's awesome. We can definitely draw City Field. Please come on down. Maybe we can go to a Cubs game. I hope that when baseball season starts, if you guys, I will be drawing every, depending on how many, how the season works out and stuff, I plan to draw every 2020 Mets home game again. So I put that out there because I would love to have some drawing partners here. So now, now that we're close friends, right? I'd love, you know, maybe grab a pen and pencil just like we did here. And we'll find, I'll let you guys know where I'll be sitting for each game. We can sit down, you know, we can share a soda or a seltzer. And then we can just draw the game together and just kind of check it all out. Awesome. Great. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. So here I go. Nothing too crazy, but we've colored it in right there. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Let me get my, my belt. I'm so excited. Add a little yellow right there. I love a yellow belt buckle. Anyway, so feel free to keep coloring it. Make it as, you know, fancy, as beautiful as you want on there. But again, one of the things that we like to do here in our class with Herm is we want to make sure that you sign your drawing and date it. So the reason that we do that is because we don't want anybody to steal it. It's yours. It's beautiful. I might take it and be like, yo, that's mine. No, 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 Herm. That's not. That's somebody else's. So people can sign wherever they want. Most most people typically sign in the bottom right. Do you have my little smiley face logo there? No, say today's April April third, right? So I'm just put four three twenty. And the reason what's really fun about dating and, and signing your drawing is, you know, uh, as you continue to draw and learn and develop, you can go back and see how much better you've progressed on it. You know, if you guys follow me along on Instagram later on today, I'll show some of my first baseball drawings I did at City Field. They're pretty bad. And then I'm not saying that they're amazing now, but they're just a little bit better. And my favorite part about that is just kind of seeing, seeing the date and you can kind of check on that. Awesome. Well, that brings us to an end right there. So like I said, I very much want to see your drawings. So what you can do, your best bet to get me is on Instagram. I cannot put my phone down nowadays, it feels like. So you can follow me on Instagram along at Herm Herman. Uh, on Twitter, I'm at Herm's Terms. Please tag the seven line two so we can get that. And we're going to retweet and repost all of your drawings that you pop on there. And if you want to take a couple minutes and see what else other kind of drawings that I do, uh, you can check my website down there at hermsterms.com. I got a link to all of that sort of stuff on there. So, you know, before we go, I wanted to again say thank you so much for drawing with me. You guys are better than best. It brings me a lot of joy to sit here and talk with you and learn how to draw and stuff. So I hope that you enjoy it too. Have a wonderful day, guys. Again, let us know how you're feeling. Let us know what you want to draw. Have a great day, and I'll catch you soon, all right? Bye-bye.